Since and getting the camera a lot. Here she is. Oh, do you want me to move it or do you like it? <laughs> What'd you say? I said you'll just. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you a day in my life as a tattoo artist. I'm so excited for this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. Also, one more thing. Thank you for 125 subscribers. It's insane. There's over a hundred of you that clicked that subscribe button. I think I'm famous. No, no paparazzi, please. No, no paparazzi, not today. No, I'm sorry. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Good morning! Here I am immediately on my phone after I've just woken up. Don't be like me. But as soon as I wake up, I go straight to work. I'm responding to people about tattoo appointments and getting back to them on their ideas and all that stuff. But I really should take some time for myself in the mornings. I just forget to do that most of the time. <laughs> Eventually though, I get sick of just being in bed on my phone so I go get ready for the day skincare brush my teeth all that jazz also look at this cat poster I have in my bathroom then I go to my kitchen and say good morning to my actual cat and feed her she likes to say hello to the camera a lot here she is but yeah grab a cup for coffee ignore the dishes in the sink that I grabbed my oat milk and for some reason this morning there was something in my coffee could not figure out what it was but I drank it anyways and then I decide for breakfast I want oatmeal so I start making that but I feel like for me especially breakfast is so important in my line of work because if I don't eat my hands are shaky for the rest of the day how does my breakfast look is it aesthetically pleasing So after all that is made, I grab my iPad and I start drawing, but here I am showing you designs that I've made recently. Most of them are still available. You should go to my Instagram and book. <laughs> but yeah, here is Musa from Winx Club, and this is actually the design I'm tattooing today. Except I'm changing the shading a little bit because my client, also known as my coworker, she has more soft shaded tattoos on her leg and since we're tattooing this design on her leg i kind of want the design to match the rest of her leg so everything flows better together if that makes sense after finishing musa i start working on other designs this is a flash deal that i'm doing for may and june and I thought these designs are so cute. I want some myself. But yeah, I started in this video drawing at like 9.30 and you'll see I don't finish until like 1.30. That's basically how my whole morning goes. Just drawing and responding to people. But here it is, it's all finished. And then I've got a rush because I'm running late. So I am running late. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. now nah, we gotta go? I'm supposed to meet up early before my shift starts with my coworker because it's my coworker's day off today, but I'm actually tattooing her and we want to go get coffee. I should stop talking. I should just get ready. Anyways, here I am ranting to the camera while I'm doing my makeup. I was just very heated about something that's not that important, <laughs> but basically I was ranting about how my shifts start at 4 p.m. and having to leave like around 3 p.m. is so unpredictable considering that I live very far from the tattoo shop that I work at and LA traffic is no joke. Like yesterday, there were three accidents on the 405. It was a complete mess. I was like over an hour and a half late to work. And so I just hate having my shift start so like close to rush hour. That's all I was ranting about. But don't worry about that. Just focus on the eyeliner. I never leave the house without it. <laughs> Bruh. I need 
to stop. Okay, let's go. Not really used to vlogging in public. I'm hoping no one's watching me. A few moments later. I'm walking to my car and yes, there is someone watching me. So awesome. So my camera died and I forgot to get gas last night because I didn't want to get gas when I got off so late. I love it here. It's so cold outside. I was just like... Cold outside? Yeah. You want to give us a look, a fit for the YouTube video? Period. <laughs> As you can see, I have picked up some lunch. So now that I have food in my system and coffee, right before I start tattooing, I am good to go. I am full of energy. But yeah, here I am setting up my station, just wrapping my little bottles, wrapping my machine, and making sure everything is ready to go to be tattooing. You'll just see my shrimp back in the video. Yeah. Bruh. What's up, guys? It's Val Tats here. Back at it with another video. Like and subscribe. Like and I have to draw for my clients tomorrow because I have two clients. My eyes hurt from looking at a screen all day. Hello. Um, <laughs> I'm currently editing the video right now. And before I continue talking, I just wanted to add something. So I'm about to say that being a tattoo artist is not as easy as people think it is. And that is true. It is a lot of hard work, but I just want to preface. I don't want to sound like one of those influencers that's like, oh my God, it's so hard. Like no one understands and they're posting content by a beach like you know what i mean there are surgeons construction workers lawyers food service workers retail workers literally there are so many jobs that could be really really hard on the daily basis so i just want to say that i understand my job is not on the same level as like a lot of other jobs in terms of difficulty but it is still very hard that's all i want to say um and especially for me i'm an introvert so my energy gets drained very fast so dealing with people can be very hard <laughs> i don't want to be like my life is so hard it is hard but also there are a lot of other hard jobs and this is coming from someone who has worked food service and retail ever since I was 17. I've done it all. Last job I had was Target. 
while apprenticing and while going to school full time. Um, it was so hard, so much physical labor, and I would cry like almost every single day. So, anyways, um, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, bye. People sometimes think that like being a tattoo artist is just easy work and it's it's not. You are constantly working around the clock. When you go to tattoo and you come home, you aren't just done for the day. Like you still have to respond to clients, you have to draw for appointments that you have the next day and it's a lot of thinking and designing and back and forth talking with people. It can get very mentally exhausting. Um, I remember when I first started and sometimes I'm still guilty of this now where I don't call it a night. Like I will keep responding to clients until the second I go to bed, which isn't healthy. Like even on my days off, I will respond to clients, but you should really take that time for yourself and just mentally like step away. But it when you're when you're a tattoo artist, you're just working 24 seven. Technically I had like a 13 hour shift today and that's my day every single day. I'm exhausted, but I'm still very grateful that I get to do this. It's something that I've always wanted to do. Even though I'm working 24 seven, it feels like working towards something that is more meaningful. It gives me a sense of purpose.